What's up, baby? Yo, hey, the boy Ray back again with another one, innit? Yeah. Today, hey, listen, I'm about to get it popping right now, innit? Yeah, I saw this one thing Polynesian martial arts, man. Ancient Tonga unboxing, modern Samoan wrestling techniques and origins, bro. Are you fucking crazy? Woo, boy, fam. Come on, man. Man, definitely have to come click this. Yeah. Man. So, boom, let's not waste no time. Let's get it cracking, innit? Yeah, before all that, mind you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you bust the like button. Make sure you bust the subscribe button again. Join the gang. Join the family. Get. Yeah. Let's get this one popping in here. Poly Polynesian martial arts in here. Let me start my thing. Yeah. Boom bam selector. Carly inspector. Let's go. Yeah, about to start breaking it down, bro. Don't Polynesia me, is the distant and isolated part of the world, geographically the most. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Must it geographically? Are you a dickhead, fam? What the fuck? Distant and isolated part of the world. <laughs> part of the world, geographically. Right, let me stop mocking him. Let me stop mocking him. Let's go. Polynesia is a distant and isolated part of the world, geographically the most distant, separated from all other landmasses. A little known fact is that the concepts and methods of fighting that originated from there were very unique and due to the overall culture in the region were brutal in their nature. Why, 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 why? The origins of ancient Tongan boxing the the of the South Pacific often had relations with one another in terms of kingdoms and even empires. Not all of these interactions were peaceful. Often they were cases Man, of these, fire, not just the settings, bro. Just the way it looks, fam. I just miss. I miss fucking nature, bro. I miss nature so bad, bro. I swear to God. Relations with one another in terms of kingdoms and even empires. It just reminds me of my village, bro. I'm not gonna lie, fam. Not all of these interactions were peaceful. <laughs> interactions. Right, I'm just gonna fuck it. I'm gonna mock this guy. He's just talking mad. He's talking mad. Often they were cases of. Not all of these interactions were peaceful. Often they were cases of violence, and one tribe or island would conquer another tribe or island in said circumstances. Jeez. If your island or Bruh, islands were crazy. properly defended, then you could keep your life and independence. If your defenders were not skilled, then there were every chance you would die and your people <laughs> or homelands would be <laughs> Home on a neighboring island. Shit then. In modern I guess time. The stakes are high, bro. <laughs> the stakes are high, man. So you might die or oh, shit, boy. So yeah. An ancient burial mound was discovered in the Tongan Islands in nineteen sixty four. These burial mounds had the remains of a large amount of people within. Certain genetic DNA markers can be noted with people as such factors for increased risk of certain diseases or traits that can be inherited from one generation to the next. During these said tests, scientists were looking at the bones of individuals bones. from the mounds and noticed a particularly odd circumstance that repeated itself and was actually quite startling. What Fingers was that? and horn bones of these people were broken and the oh, This guy sounds like a prick. I'm not gonna lie. He sounds like a fucking prick, fam. I'm not gonna be able to not mock him, bro. So yeah, shit. Just keeps just keeps he's just there, bro. Joints healed back differently. This was particularly odd as I heard say a shit again, was man. actually quite startling. Fingers and horn bones of these people were broken and the joints healed back differently. This was particularly odd as this was not exactly noticed in other regions of the South Pacific. She heard it was not this. New Zealand, Tonga, Fiji Islands, Australia. Tonga Tapu. Seeing so uh that's where Tonga is in, in relation to New Zealand, yeah. And Australia. It's like a little little oh yeah, oh yeah, you say it was a little triangle in there. I remember I saw it was a little tri that triangle space. I heard um I'm I'm it's in my mind now, I'm hitting it. Exactly noticed in other regions of the South Pacific. The ideology of the ancient Tongan fighters. In the case of Tonga, when the Europeans first contacted the native peoples, they recounted stories that in ancient times they were extraordinarily skilled in terms of boxing. 
boxer. There have been recorded accounts that in the 1770s, when Captain James Cook and his third expedition Man, sailed through that. Oh, region. this motherfucker Cook! Yo, I remember studying this this nigga in fucking primary school, bro. Man, like Cook. Yeah, and I remember he was um. We studied something about him and um. What is it? What's, it, what's the word for it, fam? Indigenous people, fam. Yeah, it was him. Oh, it was the fucking Polynesians that he was on. Okay. You know the ones? I've never really paid attention in history class and that, innit? But I just remember names, innit? But I don't remember. But now I'm getting it. It's making sense. The nigga was a sailor. There was even a fucking pub down the road from my school called the Captain Cook, fam. You get me? Mad. Now I know who Captain Cook is. You get me? 1970s when Captain James Cook and his third expedition sailed through that region while mapping and exploring that mapping. particular area of the South Pacific region, an excerpt from his diary mentioned, quote, If unoccupied, Tongans entertain themselves with boxing and wrestling, women sometimes <laughs> as well as men, boys and girls. The Tongans staged boxing and wrestling matches, inviting sailors into the ring and promptly defeated them. <laughs> except promptly. when they let the sailors win for diplomatic reasons. <laughs> promptly. The just region. slapping out these whiteies that were there. <laughs> just slapping them out. They were done in the mid-1960s. And artists on the said voyage actually produced sketches of fights that they had witnessed upon journeying to the island of Ha'apai. <laughs> and features <laughs> two pairs of men in combat. One pair using wooden weapons, and another with their fists robbed in a length of cord. Modern researchers have theorized that this might have been a wrap to protect the horns. Oh. Something like a predecessor <laughs> What the to fuck's wrong with this guy, bro? He's gonna join me, bro. I said, it's a wrap to protect the horns. The what, nigga? The horns. Nigga, what the might fuck? Might have been a wrap to protect the horns. The horns. Something like nigga, it's called motherfucking hands, bitch. What the fuck? Predecessor to modern hunt robs used. But <laughs> <laughs> said home robs. Ah, let me stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. In mixed martial arts fights, recollections of the fight mentioned that at least three thousand people were watching the fight and were present. Testimony for a fighting style and most impressive strikes were to quote turn round on their heels just as they have struck their antagonist and gave them another very smart one with the other hand backwards. <laughs> Women fought with just as much tenacity and ferocity as men. Ferocity. Even children such as boys and girls would quote unquote box very bitterly for <laughs> bitterly. short periods of time for matches. Boxers who lost a said match were observed to sit down with neutrality after a match and were viewed as if they had never fought a match at all in terms of their facial or bodily expressions. A few of Captain Cook's sailors who decided to engage in a boxing match with the <laughs> Tongans were in the words of a quoted observer, worsted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> worsted. They got slapped up, Rude Boy. They got spanked, bro. They got doppy, Rude Boy. They had no fighting chance, fam. Against these warrior race niggas, bro. Are you crazy, fam? The man must have had a field day, fam. You know them ones. Just having fun, bro. Slapping niggas out, fam. Stress, fam. You know them, them, them sailors must have thought they was on crowd as well, fam. They must have thought, yeah, we're the best in all fucking seven seas, oh nigga. You ain't been to the side yet, motherfucker. I'm about to sit your ass down, nigga. Shit. Now, accounts of Samoans being versed within boxing as well, but there is no evidence that it was on the same level of brutality that the Tongans once regularly performed. Jeez. The case of ancient Tongan wrestling techniques. More records described a style of wrestling on Tonga called Pi Talva'a, or Nanda. alternately called Fangatua which would now be considered a stunning freestyle of wrestling. A said wrestler could grasp any part of the opponent's body, but would... <laughs> but I said he could grasp any part of the opponent's body. <laughs> body. His body. He can grab his body. Oh, if I wasn't so deep into this, I would lock this off, bro, because this guy's really jarring me, fam. I'm not going to lie, fam would mostly attempt to grab onto an opponent by the waist. A wrestling match begins with a contestant trying to conveniently hold each other. <laughs> conveniently. 
Hey, this guy is tapped. Wrestlers held one another by the waist and tried to raise an opponent and attempt to throw them onto the ground by their box. Oh, sounds like sumo wrestling. Being defeated, a loser stood up and accepted the defeat. Being injured, wrestlers just smiled and let others assist them. <laughs> In modern times, within a yeah, DJ, wrestling DJ baby, wrestlers of partial Samoan descent have been known to be very skilled. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Dumb fam, you get rock bottomed in a fight fam. You just stay down fam. Take that L fam. Look how high his legs are. His leg, his, his body's in a right angle fam. How's man gonna shift your body into a right angle? You're in a fight with someone and he shifted your entire body into a right angle, bruv. Going down towards gravity. You fucked it. You fucked it, bro. Just give up then and there fam. It's a wrap. You're done out fam. Take the L. Grappling and throwing. Sensations, bro. Sensations, bro. Fucking hell have been known to be very skilled in the art of grappling and throwing. It's owed to the Samoan styles and attitude towards wrestling. Jeez, in modern times, towards. Samoans have been viewed as stocky and large. <laughs> stocky. I would say Dwayne The Rock Johnson is very stocky. He's quite a stocky young man. I mean, look at his body. <laughs> look at his body. <laughs> He's got hand wraps around his hand. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a prick, bro. This guy's a fucking prick. In terms of body size, but in ancient times, they used the shape of their bodies to their advantage. In terms Jeez. of using their weight in body size or mass oh. as a weapon against others. As a result of this, Samoans used their strength and wit to outsmart, outmaneuver, Jeez. or even outweigh their opponents <laughs> yeah. in a match or contest. That's a cold tat as well, fam. Or event. The decline of the ancient Tonga and Samoa fan culture. When Tonga and Samoa had contact with Europe, I thought this nigga was actually gonna show me like fighting techniques, fam. I thought martial arts, ancient oh, niggas just talking about it, fam. I thought my, I don't know. I thought I was gonna see some sort of beef or some describe some description of how man was beefing. Or, I don't know, man. I don't know. And then we've got this fucking prick to fuck top it off bro, with his matting accent like shit. European explorers, settlers and missionaries, the once proud Tongan and Samoan Tongan. fighting cultures sharply and quickly Sharp. declined Sharp. and ultimately disappeared. Missionaries <laughs> in particular did not approve of the brutal fighting styles that had once been so important to the Tongans and Samoans for the last generations. Bitch. Records later show that upon being converted to Christianity, North America, Asia, Samoa, New Zealand, Australia. Okay, 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 okay. The Tongans later show that upon being converted to Christianity, the Tongans and Samoans either abandoned the fighting arts that they had honed and developed through war and conflict, or created quote unquote less brutal styles of fighting Green. in an attempt to incorporate the aspects of foreign religion imposed by the colonials. So, Christianity made man calm down a bit. Called Jesus and that, innit? It became so severe that the stories of Tongan and Samoan warriors became that of legend and myth. Shit then, so that's how I guess, uh, hey, that's mad. So I guess that's how he transitioned, didn't it? To stuff becoming myth. But you know, myth always comes from somewhere, you know. There's some sort of reality in myth. Well, some of them in it, because you've got luckless monsters. Actually, no, even I guess there may be some reality. Some nigga must have saw some next crazy ass fucking see see fucking serpent type thing in it i mean yeah but yeah always all, all, all myth come from somewhere you get me so it sounds like a lot of say say the tongan and samoa myths of just niggas who was actually on this thing back in the day in it when when there was wars and man had to be on point and man had to be a warrior fam do you get me and then they become myths because motherfuckers aren't that violent anymore because christianity has come in and done up jesus and that and then those old stories become myth.
crazy. It's crazy how things progress, you know. It's crazy. It'll happen or change and change over time, like. Not exactly considered true. There is not a lot lie. of legend and myth. Not exactly considered true. When in previous centuries they were considered fact and considered truth. They were seen the what? When in previous centuries they were considered fact. Oh, <laughs> must say they were considered fucked. I thought you said they were considered fucked, as in them man were fucked. Them man they were tapped. Them they were fucked, bro. I was thinking, right, that's a that's a change in tone. Like what the fuck, I did not expect that from you, man. Nigga, shit. Exactly considered true. When in previous centuries they were considered fucked. <laughs> them man were fucked. <laughs> What is worse is that there is little to no proof about the techniques or methods used to train the body, hold the, the mind, and adopt the soul to the life of ancient fighting. All that is left are records from early contact with the British and stories left behind by the Tongans and Samoans themselves. To try and keep at least some aspect of their ancient fighting cultures intact, so future generations could remember their former greatness. Prick. First of all, fuck that guy, innit? Yeah, fuck the narrator, innit? Yeah, first and foremost, innit? Car, he was pissing me off. But that was interesting to know, I guess. Oh, I did gain some sort of value from it. Oh, two sex. Yeah, I guess I did gain some sort of insight and value from it, innit? Yeah, but it wasn't as wasn't what I expected, but I, I, I got a bit of detail in there. Now I know Nick was on smoke, which wasn't even a shocker, to be fair. But yeah, some some good good information in there. Yeah, good good insightful information on there, innit? Yeah, I learn I learn from every video I watch anyway, you see me, so that's all blessed. It's just that narrator was jarring me, innit? But yeah, that's it for this one, you know, innit? Yeah. Make sure you like, make sure you press the like button, make sure you bust the subscribe to if you're not subscribed to the channel already, innit? Yeah, join the fam, join the gang, you get me, innit? Yeah. And um yeah, I've got more, I've got a whole list of of this type of stuff in it, like educational stuff to go through in it, yeah. That I've seen that looks fucking interesting in it, yeah. That I'll, um, I'll be reacting to as well. You get me? A couple of legends in there, some myths in there as well, fam. You get me? So that's gonna be cool. That's the But yeah, that's it for this one, innit? Yeah. Myself, Ray the Boy, the Kid Wonder Don, your monster son, innit? Yeah. Man, I'll see you guys on another video. Bless.